Catching bait again, huh, Robert? Yes, sir. Damn kids. I promised the wife. So. That she'd have crawdads, but the kids jacked all of our tails, so <laughs> we had to come and get more crawdads. So yep. So that's the mission: catch more crawdads for Teresa. And for me too. I don't know, I don't know about just Teresa. It's me too. But that's what we're doing here, local canal, trying a new spot, saving the other ones for the kids. So let's see how that goes. So Robert got one, so we found him. A nice one, I just lost one. Ain't nothing wrong, guys, with catching your own bait in your local neighborhood. Not only that, it's fun. Yes, sir. Anytime I get to throw a line in the water, I'm having fun. No matter what, you know? Yup. And the kids weren't doing it right, so we have to come show them how to do it. I remember being a little kid getting gunny sacks full of crawdads and I'd take them down a quality bait, so I don't know if he does it anymore. That was Solid. years ago, yeah. Man, that was our good summer money, man. Swimming money and candy, ice cream, all that good Everything. stuff. Everything. These kids don't know what's up today, man. Stuck on that game. That we bought them. It's all your fault, Lalo. Right? <laughs> no, it is. I bought them that damn thing. Well, let's see if we can pull one up on video, guys. I think Robert might know he don't have one. We had another one. He but said he got a something know. bit him like a fish in here. <laughs> yeah, this little tiny gauge. It all feeds off the real ground, so. <laughs> I don't know, this year the catfish have been real weird. They want crawdads. They've been biting crawdads good. Everything else, so-so, but crawdads, so that's what we're doing. The dog across the street wants to come and play with us. Put him on my hook. Nice, fat crawdad. <laughs> yeah, and that's what we can. Those are big crawdads. These are big crawdads, man. Look at the size of that thing. These ones are huge, bro. Yeah, they're nice. It should have waited till we came over here. Yep. But I, I knew there would be some crawdads in this ditch. I just didn't know so nice size ones. Let's get another one. Man, those two crawdads in there are... They're the same size as the 10 of the ones we caught earlier. So yeah, guys, catch your bait. Don't be scared to go in these drainage ditches and catch crawdads and excellent channel cat bait. Just don't be stupid. Exactly. It's good. Go ahead. I'm making dough bait. Out of crawdad ends. Gross shit, bro. How gross, Robert? That's pretty gross. Check it out. <laughs> Bring it closer this way. You got about a five pound weight here. I don't know if you can see that. More than a do couple dozen of crawdads for sure that we caught this morning with the boys. And the boys jacked us for all of our tails. Yeah, they're eating them. So, so we decided to make bait out of the all of the crap. But, but I've been squishing it now for about five minutes. Lalo's gonna add some other stuff in there. But this is all the heads and the good crap left over. Now he's uh using a five pound weight to push all the junk in it. That will we could get it to make like a dough. Oh, and if you didn't know, we're real grand catters. Dumb, man. One of the, <laughs> one of the not what it looks like videos. Yep. You guys know that. We're gonna add the cereal and the oat, the oat, and then we'll smash all that up. I guess I turned into the free labor. Lalo normally does this by himself. Get the pleasure to use it. 
But anyways, you just smash and smash and smash and smash. <laughs> Mix, smash, smash and mix. Find a good twig to mix it up. Where's that stick at to mix it? A little bit of flour. A little flour. No. The main part. Oh, keep smashing. I thought I'd seen it a few minutes ago. Right there on the floor. Which one? Little one. That little one? No, tell it. Check it out. It's pretty horrible. What? The fish left. So we got all our crap almost mixed together. So I'll just bring me a stick. Why not? Turn it around with this. <laughs> no. I used a good thing. A little bit of some uh, shrimp flavored glow in the dark stuff that we're trying out for mics. A little bit of that. Oh man, that smells horrible. <laughs> this is uh, gonna be a catfish bait. But I'm sure it'll work for just about any kind of fish. All fish eat crawdads. So, we'll see what's going on here. How's it looking there, Robert? Yeah, it's looking a little nice. We can eat more after more cereal. But I still gotta smash a little bit more. You can use any cereal you want. I like to use the corn cereal. The wheat cereal works good, but doesn't get as much action. It works better with like beef liver, the wheat, with like the creepy beef. Corn steak, frosted steak for your carbs. The tomato cereal for your carbs. The corn your old people cereal for your catfish. Old people cereal? <laughs> What's old people cereal, son? Like. You know, corn flakes with no, no frost on them and these Cheerios with nothing on them plain. <laughs> whole wheat? Whole wheat. Whole grain. I like the corn cereal, the checks, little squares, those ones work the best. The stuff we'd get in trouble for you. For using as bait. Back when we were growing up. But you know, what I figured out do we need to add some water or are we good? No, I think we're good. What I figured out is uh, the more nasty your bait is, the less likely you're going to catch a fish. That's right. It may smell gross, but the fresher it is, the, the, the better bait. it works. This batch of bait we'd have to use maybe within three days before we have to throw it. Yeah. And that's if we, keep, we don't keep it refrigerated. If we keep it refrigerated, you might get another day out of it. But they're not not more than five days, guys. Yeah, there's no preservatives in this either. Wild caught crawdads. Straight out the Secchia crawdads. But yeah, that's how we make the not what it looks like bait. That's one of them. There's like six or seven, maybe more than like eight, because Robert's got a couple of his too, a few of his, the mackerel, the holy mackerel. What's that one? There's. Mac and cheese, holy mac and mackerel, cheese. and there's holy mackerel with jello. With jello, there you go. See those are three other. <coughs> it's not what it looks like, babe. So yeah, that's basically how we do it. Robert does is a little bit different, but it's the same thing. 
because he'll make a video on when he makes bait next. This is how I make my bait, guys. Yeah, free labor. Free labor. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Show you how it works later. We're done mixing our bait. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six side. patties. I guess you could call those crabby patties. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let it dry out a little bit because the moisture, everything has to set in and then we'll store it in a can. But if you're not gonna use it all right away, that's about six times of going fishing right there. Yeah, did I say about? Yeah. And then you and a couple of friends, yeah. about, yeah, right. about six times. But uh, that concludes our not what it looks like video. Thanks. Thank you for watching.